Hey everyone, this is Aisha. I'm here today to do a first impressions of the AJ Crimson's Pro Palettes that just recently came out. They're kind of similar to the other foundations that he had. Instead, he added a few more colors. And I've heard so many great things about it, I wanted to go ahead and try it for myself. He came earlier this week to Blush Baby Studios here in Atlanta to do a basically a meet and greet and show some makeup artists the actual products we got to have personal matches done by him as well so I've already primed and prepped my face I've done my brows I've done my eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and go on with the palettes um, what I got is I got two palettes I got my regular foundation color and then I also got a highlight color for my actual foundation color it's this one it's number five number five is my foundation color and four is my highlight color now how I normally do my foundation is I normally go ahead and put my actual color on first and then I go in with my um, highlight color it just seems to work better because you don't really want to put your highlight on and then put something dark on top of it because it kind of diminishes the highlight so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush it's a makeup forever brush it's a 104 it's basically a foundation brush and I'm just gonna go in to the number five foundation and as you can see it's very creamy and you can build the coverage with this it's creamy but it's not heavy it's not heavy at all I'm gonna put this all over if you have any little areas that you want to cover I have a few little spots you can use some corrector as well under it if you'd like what I like about this is it's very blendable um, usually in the winter times I use cream foundations anyway just because of the weather change and because I don't want to be dry I don't want to look dry in the winter your, your skin tends to change in the winter so now that I have all of my areas covered that I would want the foundation now with highlight I tend to just use my finger so I'm just gonna dab my finger into the highlight and I'm going to go under my eye area go all the way out I'm going to bring it down a little bit to the cheek you can see that is really different from the foundation color that I have on Um, if you're a type of person who likes to highlight down the middle, go ahead. I don't do it all the time, but I do do it sometimes. And maybe even around the lip, you can do that too. So, for my highlight, I generally use my Beauty Blender brush. I have the mini for those small areas like your eyes just going to go ahead and blend that in and like I said these blend very well when he did his demo in the um, beauty studio they blend it very well so you don't because you know you want to have a highlight but you do not want your you don't want any hard lines you don't want it to definitely show like you have a highlight on your face you don't want any hard lines on your face with your makeup 
all right and I'm gonna go in with my bigger beauty blender just to make sure that the whole all the foundation is set in and where it needs to be all right I have a little spot over here I want to take care of. I'm going to go ahead and go with my um, Pro Palette from MAC. Put some of that on there. And then I'm going to go back over it with my number five. And see how well that blends out. It's a good thing with these. They actually blend very very well as far as my set I'm gonna go ahead and set it with a translucent powder under the eye area I'm gonna do that for both sides I'm gonna do the eye area and I'm also gonna do down middle of the forehead what are the other areas I did the actual highlight on after I do my highlight to set my whole face I'm gonna go in with my Mac mineralized skin finish and this is in dark all right and I'm just gonna take one of these fluffy brushes from Mac as well and go in and set the rest of the foundation that's not the highlight All right. For my contour, I'm going to use this by Shea Moisture. It's called Mandalay Dust. And again, that's by Shea Moisture. Okay, I'm going to go in with my 109 MAC brush. I'm just going to go in and make a slight contour. I don't like to contour my face too, too much. I think that's a good contour for blush I'm gonna use my old trusty raisin and this is the 129 Mac brush being that it's fall I'm not gonna really put a highlight on because I don't think um, you really need a highlight and um, you know fall winter season it's up to you if you want to do that for my lips, since it is a little bit cooler, I'm going to try a new lipstick that I got with the mattes. It's a very good color for the fall winter season, if you can see it. Alright, and before I put that on, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Night Moth Lip Liner. But I will say, if you're going to use matte lipsticks, it's very good to exfoliate your lips. Since it can be dry, you want to go ahead and get any dead skin you might have on your lips off. So you just have a better canvas to go ahead and add those matte lipsticks to. Like I said, this is a new color from the mattes. It's called Living Legend. So this is the finished product. Like I said, this was a video to go ahead and do a first impressions on the AJ Kimson's Pro Palettes. This is number five. This is number four. I do like the palettes. I think I will be getting some more. If you want to get some, make sure you go to AJCrimson.com to go ahead and pick you up some. They have a lot of colors. They're good and blendable. Um, you can mix and match. You can get the perfect shade that you want to get. On my eyes is the Anastasia. A Beverly Hills Amrezy palette. I use this palette um, often since I've gotten it. The colors that I used today were Legend, Glisten, Caramel, and also Deep Plum. Added a little bit of Max Saddle in with that. As far as my brows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Down Pro Made in Chocolate. I love that color. It works perfectly with me. I use this brush, which is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, to go ahead and get my brow how I want it. 
Um, I have another video coming up. I have some exciting news. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. And also remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook at IA Makeup. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.